This may be surprising to some of you travelers, the vast majority of flights departed on time from U.S. airports this fall. But the data has a pretty major set of outliers from this winter when Southwest experienced a holiday meltdown. According to the Bureau of Transportation Statistics, more than four out of every five U.S. domestic flights departed on time in November 2022. That is up significantly from earlier in the year, but that November data does not include the thousands of cancellations and delays announced by Southwest Airlines in December. Very important detail there. Joining us now is Kathleen Bangs. She's a spokeswoman for the flight tracking data service FlightAware. She's also a former airline pilot. Kathleen, I got to say, as someone who covered the transportation beat, thank you for everything your platform does because we use that information to keep track of what's happening. Um, are you surprised by the airline's strong performance? Lana mentioned it doesn't include the meltdowns over winter, but there were the staffing issues posed by the pandemic, which lasted for many months. So does this stand out to you? That's right. Well, I think what happened is we saw a lot of delays and cancellations over those peak holiday periods, last Memorial Day, 4th of July, into the summer. And so the airlines kind of got a bit of a warning call that they needed to pare back their schedules, which they did very effectively, about 15% across the board. So they reduced that capacity a little bit going into the holiday season. They did that last summer. And then they also really went on a hiring splurge. And so now they say that they have employee levels, not just back to 2019, but for many carriers, they actually have more employees right now. So I think that really benefited them, plus some great weather over Thanksgiving. Uh, so I'm wondering, Kathleen, because obviously there's a lot of headlines right now about flying, having problems. We're talking about the Southwest meltdown. Um, what's your overall uh, sense of how the industry is doing right now? Well, things are going really well. You know, if you look at pre-pandemic, not to get too deep into the data here, but 2019, we saw a cancellation rate of 1.6%. So one and a half flights, basically, out of every 100 flights was canceled. But if you looked at the headlines from this last year, you'd think, wow, it must be way up. It must be like right. you know, 10 or 20 percent. We hear about all the time. But it's actually 2.3 percent. So a less than 1 percent increase. Now, does that translate into about 109 extra canceled flights a day? Yes, it does. But it's not as bad as the headlines would have you believe. Unfortunately, it has clustered over holidays. And that's when people mm. really want to get going and i think that's been a lot of the issue and we have been seeing longer delay times which unfortunately then people can miss a connecting flight one more great reason to always try and fly direct if possible fly direct fly early in the yes, morning but advice. important context for us when we're hearing all these bad headlines kathleen banks thank you thank you